Hello students, today we are going to complete the problem number 9 in isometric. A sphere of diameter 30 mm rests on the top of the frustum of a hexagonal pyramid, base 30 mm, top face 18 mm, side and height 50 mm, such that the axis coincide, draw the isometric projection of the combination of the solids. So here we have two solids. First one is a sphere which is above a hexagonal frustum of an hexagonal pyramid. So whenever we go for frustum, we have a base of different dimension, top face of different dimension. Here we have for the base 30 mm side length and top face it is 18 mm side length. Height is given as 50 mm. And they also say that the, coin, the axis of both sphere and hexagonal frustum uh, are coincide. Okay, so we'll start with that. So in this case, we are supposed to draw orthographic, at least the top view of the orthographic to know the values of uh, different sides uh, in an hexagon. Uh, we'll go for the orthographic, then we'll go for the isometric. So let's begin. Right, so here we have a sphere of diameter 30 mm, rest on the first room of a hexagonal pyramid, base 30 mm, top face 18 mm, okay, height is 50 mm. So let's start with an hexagonal. So here I am going to use a uh, micros, side length is given, which is 30 mm, hexagon, apply relationships, click over here. So here there is no concept of uh, resting on corner or edge, it doesn't matter that much. Either you can make it rest it on corner or you can also make it rest it on edge. It's up to you. It need not to be uh, unless it is given in the problem. Uh, it can be resting either on the edge or on the corner. So it's not anything very much particular about it. So here I'm going to convert the hexagon into a box. So using this horizontal and vertical lines along all these corners, I'm going to trim this extra lines. As you can see here so all at once i can trim like this drag and you can draw a line like this which will trim all of that now you can see here so i will go for the dimension of each side this will be 25.98 this will be same equal and uh, this will be of 15 and as we know this is 30 this is supposed to be 30 and this will also be 30 and this will be equal so i'm not going to mark all the lines here, since we need a hexagon, I'm going to keep that in a dark line or thick line since it is a profile. So black and I'm going to keep it into dark line. So we have the dimensions. So inside this, I have another hexagon uh, whose side length uh, is 18 mm. Okay. Instead of constructing, I'll use different method for the construction. First, I'm going to construct the hexagon. So here, yeah, let's start with that thin line. So it is 25.98 and at an angle of 30 degree again 25.98 at an angle of 30 degree now it is 15 at an angle of 150 degree again 30 at an angle of 150 degree again it's 15 at an angle of 150 degree right again it is 25.98 at an angle of minus 150 degree so here you can see i am not you i'm not at all using mouse so directly with the keyboard and pressing enter i can change the value so 25.98 enter it is minus 150 degree right now again it is 15 and minus 30 degree again it's 30 and minus 30 degree and remaining i'll just join it's supposed to be 15 and minus 30 degree as you can see it is same right now once you're done with this then go for the thick line and a black line so here i'm going to join starting from this end point i'll move until i get the end point over here until i get the end point over here similarly here i will find the end point and here i'm going to find the end point here I'll find the end point and join the end point over here. Now I have an hexagonal in an isometric way. 
Now find the center either by drawing the bisector or diagonal you can easily draw. So here once again I'll go with the thin line and the hidden line. So from here to here I can draw the diagonal. Any two diagonal is fine to find the center. I can saw I can draw this corner to corner. So this midpoint will be the midpoint. You can also draw the third one. It's supposed to be uh, you're supposed to get the same center point as you can see it here this is the center height is given they say a uh, height is 50 m so i'm going to take 50 and 90 right and since it is an axis i'm going to convert that into axis select here axis supposed to be always chain and it is thin thick line thin line okay chain thin now here i need one more hexagon instead of constructing one more hexagon uh, i'm going to select the hexagon that i already have including this uh, center uh, line diagonal now i'm going to use a scale tool in the turn on copy command in the scale factor i'm going to type 18 divided by 30 i require a hexagon of side length 18 divided by i already have a hexagon of side length 30 press enter okay directly you'll get an hexagon for the required dimension right click now go to move tool turn off the copy command select the center place it exactly at this tip right now go to thick line black line use the thick line so from this corner to this corner from this corner to this corner from this corner till here and again from this corner till here okay remaining will not be much of a visible lines so I am going to select and I am going to convert that into thin line or you can also delete it. It depends. You can also make it into thin hidden lines as, as I have done like this. Now above this I have a spear. Spear diameter is 30. So obviously radius would be 15. So I am going to take a line. Select from here. It is 15, 90. Since it is in radius 15, 90. It is supposed to be since it is an axis. I am going to convert that into axis. So it is chain thin chain and thin now i have axis radius of that okay it is uh, 15 since the diameter is 30 right now i'm going to select this convert this into iso scale go to scale turn off the copy command scale factor is 0 0.8164 press enter place it exactly where it is right next i'm going to take a circle here I am going to type a diameter as 30. Then I am going to place it exactly at this end point. Okay. Now inside lines either you can trim it or you can just uh, you can just make it into hidden lines. As you can see here, I am going to make it into hidden line. I can select this and I uh, will change it to thin line and hidden line. Right. This line I have to split this. I am going to use a split tool select this where i have to split i am going to split that at that point select this and i have to split at that point now i have to select this sorry not that i have to select this this both of that supposed to be thin line so some of you can also uh, is going to delete that 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 is also fine there is nothing like mandatory that you have to uh, delete it or make it into hidden lines there is nothing as such either you can keep it or you can just delete it it's up to you i'm going to keep it into a thin line so just to show uh, angles i'm going to use this select any one of this line and the angle is 30 degree select any one of this and the angle is 30 degree right it is fit right now other than that you can also use mod dimension you can show the axis of this uh, here it is as since it is reduced to iso it is showing the iso value you can convert that or go for select here you can keep that into blank here also you can make it into blank right after that you can also give the value it is iso 15 iso 15 press okay again select this here you can say take it as iso 15 sorry it is not 15 it is 50 iso 50 press ok as you can see it here and you can also show the diameter of this actual diameter of this as it is it is original diameter you can also show that you can see it here it is 30 right since it is original value uh, it remains 30 original 30 right 
so so that's it that's it so that's it about this problem so if you have any doubt you can uh, let me know and you can type it in the comment and uh, please share and subscribe thank you